Yeah, yeah club club be okay. Jack for a sweat. Then pair the seven. Kevin, a big chance to knock out his roommate and get down to five players. Here comes the turn card. It is a 10. Now this gives Zoe a flush draw. He's got a higher flush draw. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Well, there you see our chip leader, Kevin Eister from Louisiana, now living in Denver, Colorado, but way out in front with 5.6 million. Youngest player at the table, he'll be the guy to beat. All right, first action is going to be on the rap king of the poker world, Jeff Madsen. That's right, Jeff Madsen from Santa Monica, quick fold. And he's a 5,000, blinds a 20 and 40. Fold. Yeah, Ben from Ontario, Canada, out. So out as well. Daniel Letts from Jamaica going to fold this now. It's a round of Paul Dugazima. Easy. Zima. 27-year-old from St. Petersburg, Florida. It's first hand, man. Raise. He's raised to 110,000 to go. This is, I can definitely flat this so. Kevin Eister right behind him, the chip leader, is going to make the call with just a 10 6. Here we go with the flop. Well, it's just so tough to play when the chip leader's sitting right on your left because he makes these calls. And now, what do you do when it comes 8 6 deuce like this? No help. You've got ace high. As you can see, Kevin's made two sixes, but. Paul going to make the continuation bet. 115, Kevin Ice to the chip leader, catching a piece of that, makes the quick call, of course. And we are going to the turn. Well, board pair sixes gives Kevin three of a kind. Paul now drawing completely dead in this hand. No card he can catch to win the pot. And he is going to slow down, thank goodness. And Ice just hoping that he did have an over pair. But nevertheless, you're three of a kind, popping out a bet of 160. And Paul looking over at Eister. He's going to give him action, Mike. Yeah. Drawing dead. River card, a deuce. Well, that may cost him more money because now he's got two pair with an ace kicker, but. But Paul is going to check it. Eister now with a measly full boat. And let's see if he bets the right amount to get his sucker to call. That's a big bet, Vince. 550000 That is a chase-away bet right there. And Paul now lets it go. So the rich get richer. Kevin Eister taking down pot number one to extend his chip lead. That's an over bet there. Didn't work out. But right now, as you can see, our first place finisher is going to take home 660000 here in Florida. And there's the WPT Champions Cup. When you win a championship, your name gets inscribed on that beautiful trophy. To the felt we go. Daniel Letts first to act from Jamaica, now living in Miami. 38 years old. And he picks up a big hand. Ace King. He got in this tournament by winning a $500 satellite. He's been up and down. He's unemployed right now. Guy loves poker, hates the nine to five life, actually slept in his car for a week once, Vince. He makes it 85,000 to go. And like we said earlier, he has half a haircut, Daniel Letts does. <laughs> but it's been lucky for him. Now look at this, a re-raise by Kevin Eister with an ace deuce. Makes it 210 to go, a couple folds. Back on Letts. Got Ace King, there's his lovely wife, Laura, rooting him on. What a moment for Letts. Now he's going to re-raise. Makes it 585 to go. Smart move. Get aggressive. And Kevin has to lay down his hand. Daniel putting the hammer down on him, taking down that pot. And Vince, we've never had anyone from Jamaica take down a WPT title. We could see a first here tonight. That would be exciting. Daniel Letts with a big chance here. Lives in Miami. Got in this tournament through his satellite. And he is punching out pretty good here in the beginning of this event. Well, Vince, you know poker players like I do. They're very superstitious guys. Some guys don't change underwear all week. They don't change socks all week. This guy gets half a haircut. He's doing good. He lasts through day one. He said, hey, I'm going to stick with it, you know? If it's working, stay with it. That's what I got to do it. Kevin Eister with a quick fold. And now from Santa Monica, Jeff Madsen, tough poker pro. 27 with a queen and a diamond. is going to make it 85000 to go. Jeff's got a couple World Series of Poker bracelets to his credit, trying to get a WPT title. This is second final table this season on the World Poker Tour, so 
Well, Paul Dugazima is going to call this, Mike, with a king jack. So two-way action. Here we go with the flop. It's a 10-7-3. Well, no help to either player. Action on Paul. He checks. And Jeff Madsen, 27 years old. Second WPT final table. The rapper is going to bet the continuation bet. Paul says he plays a pretty tight game of poker. But look at this. Vince, he is check raised here. And he is going to win this pot by making a bold move right there. So I'm not so sure about that tight player image he's trying to project. Check raising with nothing to take down the pot. And look at that. A nice smile by him. Now he's also, Paul is, known as a backer of players. So he doesn't just play himself. He backs other players up into events. Yeah, guys that don't have money to buy in, always looking for stake horses. Well, there's your man. Right back at it, Paul, with a quick fold. And now Kevin Iser, the chip leader, is going to raise with just a 7-3. Oh, he's going to get action by the man from Jamaica, Daniel Letts. He's a local now with a queen jack. But also, Ben Tarzia in with a 6-3 of clubs, so. Three-way action here in the raise pot. Flop comes Jack, a deuce. Good flop for Daniel. He's got the top pair. Certainly does. He has to act first. He checks it. Kevin Eister now. Gonna make a continuation bet, 105. Ben Tarzia, a tattoo shop owner, is gonna fold his hand. Caught nothing of that flop. So now you're Daniel, you got your top pair. But he's not going to repop it, just going to call. So we're going to the turn. Well, a seven comes off. Now, this gives Kevin a pair of sevens, but still way behind here. But yeah, he can get into trouble here. Well, also a possible straight out there. I don't see him getting in much trouble. No, he's going to check it right here. Well, that's a good slowdown. When a three comes off on the river, how about that? Two runners in a row for Kevin. He now has the best hand with sevens and threes. You talk about running well. Woof. Daniel, let's. Gonna check. Kevin Kevin's gonna try to make some more money, and it's gonna work. Ooh. Uh, two pairs is good. Well, there you see the pain for the Jamaican. And Vince, he'll be smoking something on the break after that hand, I promise you. <laughs> Tough beat for Daniel right there. It took you two runners to win that hand, Kev. I was going to check the river if I didn't hit a seven or three. Get off my back. <laughs> oh. Kevin Eister, the 23-year-old out of Louisiana, extending his chip lead. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Couple folds around to Zoe. He can't play. Now Daniel also not playing. Now back around to Paul. Yeah, Paul's got a king jack. Well, he's in the big blind. Kevin looks very happy and excited here. Paul, if he was dabbling or thinking about re-raising pre-flop, that easy going and the song singing by Kevin has just made him call. And the flop comes up a 10-8-5. That is good for Eister, hitting the tens. Top pair and top kicker. Hard to beat that when you make a flop. And Paul hitting nothing there, we'll check. Kevin. Yeah, he's putting the extra stall on it here like he doesn't know whether he should bet or not, but we know it's just his way of hoping his opponent decides to raise him here. 75,000. These are the two chip leaders at the table. And Paul, who likes to back poker players, sees the light, gets out of the way. He just doesn't want to mess with the chip leader with no hand. Oh, we get to see the runners? Is that what we're doing over there? <laughs> see if I would have got there. Even on, even on the small block? Jeez. I think I got there. Every time. Daniel. Let's hear the local grinder. Quick fold by him. Paul DeGazima. He's an entrepreneur, poker backer. This time with a Jack 10. He's 27 years old. He likes his hand, and he will raise. Looks like to 85,000. Kevin Eister, the chip leader, going out. <laughs> Also, Jeff Madsen out. Ben now looks at. Oh, look at this. Vince, he's got two aces out of the blind. How much is it? Somebody's raised in front of him. Weapons of mass destruction, and what a great time to get it. 
tattoo shop owner. He just calls Vince, does not re-raise with the two aces out of the blind. Try to, try to disguise the strength of that hand. Zoe folds. Here we go with the flop. Oh, and he catches three of a kind, just like that, three aces. Well, the top set, the best hand possible, and he checks it. Now, Paul gonna make the continuation bet, like most would in this spot. Let's see if Ben gets fancy with the raise. No, nope. no hand can beat him, so why raise it? Just calls. Just walk the dog, let the guy keep betting. That's right. Let the big fish wiggle seven on the turn. <laughs> Doesn't have to worry about flushes, nothing now. He's got aces full, and he checks again. Yeah, beautifully done by Ben. Now, once a guy calls you on a flop with an ace out there, don't you slow down a little bit here, Vince, or not? I think you do. Well, maybe he's putting him on some kind of heart flush draw or something. Oh, he continues to bet, Mike. 245 donation into Ben's pocket, and Ben, of course, with just the call. I check. He's gonna check on the river before the card comes up. Interesting. Checked in the dark, why not? You hope the guy hit something. Eight of diamonds, and I tell you something, that is going to induce a bet. Look at this. A quick bet. He has fired a third shell into this pot. Now look at this acting job by Ben. He's looking over like, hmm, do I have you? I'm looking at you, I'm staring at you. Do you have a big hand? Oh, nevertheless, I'm gonna take a chance, I'm gonna re-raise. <laughs> That's the thought process of this man. He definitely is going to re-raise, that's for sure. And there it is. Yep, yep. Finally come. Folks, this is something you don't see very often. A guy with two aces never raising the pot one time until after all the cards are out. Just doesn't happen very often at all. Finally, Paul puts down the hand, and Ben is going to show it. Not sure Ben should have showed that hand, but he did. The Canadian Ben just tattooing Paul right there with a simple full house of aces. Nicely done. The tattoo artist, Ben, put the needle in Paul right there. Didn't he take down that pot? Yeah, Paul doesn't look too happy about it. And on the spot. Yeah. Ben, very chatty right now. Well, why not? You know, this guy was a suit, Vince. 20 years he worked as a sales executive. Now he's retired. He decided to buy himself a tattoo shop. Never been happier. Big family man, four children. Wow. All in. Great story, but right now, Zo Kareem has gone all in with an ace deuce. Everybody folds, but Paul now with an ace three is considering this. I have a count, please. Five ten. Five ten. This guy played football at Mount Union College for a year and a half before getting hurt. Was roommates with Pierre Garson. WWJD. I'm pretty sure you call, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Wide receiver of the Washington Redskins, and he is going to call this. Probably be a chopped pot, a split pot. You just don't know. Good, Figures to be, unless one of them catch a deuce or a three or make a flush. <laughs> Let's see if Zoe can get lucky here. I was just so happy to see an ace on the button. I was like, thank God. <laughs> now I don't have to keep jamming cutoffs. <laughs> and the deuce just like that on the flop. He does get lucky. Amazing flop right there for Zoe. Gives him a great shot to double up right here. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be like a four hearts all day. Yeah, yeah. Zoe Kareem looking pretty, six of clubs on the turn. No help for Paul. He's gotta catch a three now to win the hand and knock out Zoe. They'd split the pot if a six comes off. Let's see what happens. Well, it's an eight, so Zoe Kareem is gonna double up here, and he gets very lucky to take down that pot. I was rooting for Chop. I was rooting for Chop, too. And there you see Kevin Eister with a massive chip lead, six and a half million, almost a two to one lead over the second place guy, which has been the Canadian. The lines are going up to 25 and 50,000. Action on Kevin Eister, the chip leader. He looks down at Dolly Parton hand, nine to five. 110. Makes it 110. Jeff Madsen out. Ben Tarzia. Not playing. Zoe going to go away. No action for Daniel Letts, but it's around to Paul. Now Paul looks down at the suited connectors, the 7 6 of spade. This guy will play any hand at any time with anyone. Vince, he told us he was a tight player. The guy's played every hand. He fired three shells with a complete bluff a minute ago. I like his style, actually. And here is the flop. A good flop for Paul out in front here with a pair of sevens now. It's come 8 8 7. Now, Kevin with an inside straight draw, that's about it. But he is going to make the continuation bet of 90,000. Paul out in front, like you said, going to make the call. 
And the turn card, well, it's another heart, queen of hearts. Yeah, neither player happy to see a third out there because neither player have a heart. It goes check, check here on the turn. Yes, it does, and the river card is a six. What a card for Kevin Ice to hit this straight. Just incredible. He hit runner, runner a minute ago to make two pair to beat Daniel, and now he's caught a gut shot six on the river. He's going to win this pot as well. It's just the amount of money that you can extract from your victim, and, well, that's pretty significant. 575. I think he overbet that. Well, you're right, Ben. It's only 450,000 in the pot, so a massive overbet which tries to make it look like a bluff, but in fact, it wasn't. Yep, he's gonna chase Paul away. Yeah, definitely a smaller bet might have trapped Paul there for some money, but in the meantime, Kevin Eister running pretty good right here, looks like, extends his chip lead. We are at the Seminole Hard Rock Showdown. Six players, right back at him. And Zoe with a quick fold. Well, Daniel, just a queen deuce offsuit out as well. Paul Dugazima. Finally, wow. going to take a breather. 110. Well, Kevin going to raise it up on the button here with the ace high. Yep, makes it 110 to go. Jeff Madsen out, Ben, though. Ben Tarzia has a decent A6. Will make this call. Be gentle on me now. Always, always. Well, Ben's family man, four kids, <clears throat> likes to ride motorcycles. Well, look at this flop. It's great for Ben. Three of a kind like that. Ben checks it. Nothing hitting for Kevin, but he's aggressive. We'll make a continuation bet. 90,000. Boy, Ben is flopping beautifully here tonight when he gets involved in a hand. Just makes the okie-dokie call. Well, it worked for him before. And we're going to the turn. Now a king comes off. Well, Ben's going to check, and here comes... Kevin, one more time. Going to continue firing at this pot. 155,000, and party might be over for him here, right here, because Ben is going to raise it with the three sixes. He is going to make it a total of 375. Now, what is Kevin doing? He's going to stick around and make this call. That is surprising. Absolutely shocked here, drawing dead. As you can see, but why would you call there? You just wouldn't think an amateur player, a businessman, is going to check raise with no hand. I agree. Queen of Diamonds on the river. No help, of course, for Eister. And Ben will make this bet a hefty 525. This is pretty uncallable to really analyze the player. You can only beat a stone bluff. Mm -hmm. Would an amateur check raise you, make a stone bluff in this situation? I wouldn't think so. Only a six and bluffs make sense right here. He's talking himself into it. He's making a bad call. Six. Very surprised Kevin Eister went for that, just as we were surprised a minute ago when Paul kept firing at the pot as the Canadian was calling him. So he's just letting these guys fire off, Vince. It's beautiful. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35, and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Back to the table we go, as six players remain. Kevin is still the chip leader with 5.4 million in chips. Blinds at 25 and 50. Down to the felt we go to the tattoo shop owner, Ben. He goes out, and now Zoe Karim Young Poker Pro has a queen 10. He's on the short stack. And he is going to raise this. Yep, he makes it 110 to go. Daniel Paul out. Kevin Eister picks up a pair of jacks. He's the roommate to Zoe, and he's just going to call it. Well, just calls, does not raise there. Jeff out. It's a two-way action. I'm surprised he didn't repop that. I'm very surprised myself. Well, flop comes 7, 8, 9 with two clubs. As you can see, Kevin out in front with the jacks. And he is now going to lead out and bet into his roommate. These guys room together on the road when they travel the tour. He's always picked up an open-ended straight draw, though. Yep, and a backdoor flush draw. All in. And he's going to go all in. Oh. Wow. Well, Zoe all in and called. Oh. Oh. So the roommate's battling it out here. You guys are roommates? And it looks like Zoe is getting back to the room first, and I think the door is going to get locked. Oh, boy, this could be the end of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, club will be okay. Jack for a sweat. 
Then pair the seven. Kevin, a big chance to knock out his roommate and get down to five players. Here comes the turn card. It is a 10. Now this gives Zoe a flush draw. He's got a higher flush draw. Obviously the eight of clubs won't help him. It give his opponent a straight flush, but they don't realize he improved. He needs to catch a 10 or a jack or a club. Kevin is still one card away from knocking out his roommate. Zoe still a pretty big underdog. He needs to get lucky here to survive, and he does get lucky. Runner, runner, flush for Zoe, Kareem, and Vance. When your roommate does things like that to you, you know, you start saying, hmm, maybe it's time to get a new roomie here. This guy's not very lucky for me. Oh, wow, no sharing the toothpaste tomorrow.